Hello, and welcome to Esprit Edge Tips and Tricks. In this Tips and Tricks video, we'll be going over whole feature recognition in Esprit Edge. Whole feature recognition creates drilling features automatically from solid models, solid faces, face loops, circles, arcs, or points. You can select the input before or after you click the command. So let's hop right in and venture to the Features tab and select Whole. The Whole Feature Recognition Manager will appear. As with any manager or work pane, you can choose to dock it. It is generally recommended to place these types of work panes on the left and dock them on top of the other panes such as features, operations, and tool assemblies. The work pane will always appear in the same place every time you choose to create a whole feature, whether it's docked or on another screen. The parameters available within a whole feature recognition allow you to choose exactly how you want the automatic feature recognition to find, create, and group your whole features. For example, we can limit the holes created based on maximum and minimum diameter. Let's click the selection arrow to the right of the minimum diameter field, and now notice the note in the lower left-hand corner letting us know what Esprit is expecting. Let's pick the top edge of the second to smallest size hole and notice it fills in the value. We could have also filled this value in manually. Now select the first solid and click OK. Esprit omitted creating the small size hole feature, but created all of the other hole features on the selected model. We can also limit based on the hole opening angle. This is useful if we want to mill a hole instead of drilling it. Activate hole feature recognition again, and let's click the selection arrow and pick the middle hole and notice it fills in the value. Select the second solid, click OK, and note only the whole features are created on holes with equal to or more than the whole angle we had in the parameter. Let's move on to the next parameter, combining coaxial holes. This free edge can merge an interrupted hole that shares a common center axis into a single hole feature. With this parameter set to yes, select the third solid and click OK. Notice that the hole feature goes through the interruption. Now let's create these same holes with combined coaxial holes set to no. Select the entire solid, click OK, and notice these will now be two separate features. If the propagating hole faces parameter is set to yes, this free edge will automatically group any faces that are included in the hole to be featured from just a single selected face. Ensure propagate hole faces is set to yes, select the top of the counterbore cylindrical face of both holes, and then click OK. See that the holes are defined as counterbore holes. Now let's select the same faces with propagate hole faces set to no and click OK. Notice only the faces selected create a simple hole feature. This gives us more control over how the features are created and what portions of the holes will be featured. The active work plane only parameter when set to yes will constrain the selection to only holes parallel to the W vector of the active work plane. Notice how it only makes this feature, even though the entire solid is selected when we click OK. Diving back in, if we set this parameter to no, all of the whole features are created, regardless of the direction. The split custom hole parameter, when set to yes, will create a feature for each portion or segment of the custom hole. A custom hole is something that doesn't fall under the standard hole definition. For example, if we had a countersunk hole inside of a counter board hole, this wouldn't fall under the standard hole definition. In this case, we would get two hole features, one for the counterbore and one for the countersunk hole. If this setting is set to no, you would receive a single custom hole feature, which could be useful if you're using a porting tool, for example. Thanks for watching this Esprit Edge Tips and Tricks video. We hope you learned something useful for your future projects. Be sure to explore our other tips and tricks, webinars, e-learning courses, and the Esprit Edge Forum in the Nexus community to connect and learn with thousands of industry peers.